Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Crystal and my Mile Ice Run. This will be the last of the episodes I cover for um, Crystal tonight, because, let's face it, any other episodes I could do would just take a lot longer to get through, because after this, we got the really long slog to get to, well, Misty's gym. Unfortunately. Who actually managed to sneak past him for a change. Good. The less people got to battle, the better. Of course, we still have to deal with the bird guy down here, unfortunately. Bird guy to annoy me. Ugh. Yeah, I know it's a quick shortcut going down to Fuchsia City. Going up, it's a pain in the butt. You know what I want to go for, but I try to keep it relatively clean when doing these videos, because, you know, cursing's probably not usually the best idea. Ugh. Well, let's see. We'll go with, um, Headbutt. Sure, we could throw some snow at it, but let's face it, Miss Piggy's real um, selling point is it hits hard. Well, she hits hard. I guess we can call it Pokemon It. Some of them don't have a gender. Really? You're gonna mildly peck me to annoy me? That does nothing! Well, that takes care of Noctile. That's what you get for messing with me. <laughs> Woo! What's the woo for? Were you straining that hard in this battle or something? Gosh darn it, she spent more of my money on useless crap. Ugh. Darn it, Mom. I want you to spend my money on stuff I don't need. Well, at least we don't have to fight anyone here unless we talk to them. Where they can reveal, like, I'm not the real gym leader. Yeah, yeah, I know you're the real one, so stop joking around, because I brought along Miss Piggy to run over you with earthquakes. That's why Miss Piggy's up front, you know, just just for the sheer awesome power of earthquake, and hopefully we can just devastate her ranks with it. But it looks like I forgot she runs Crobat first. Darn it. Well, we can make do with Headbutt, I suppose. Really? Confused right out of the gate. Damn it, Miss Piggy. Well, at least pop him in the face, please. Nope, hits itself. <sighs> well, I got a lot of full heals. I might as well use one. Ah, Screech. Great. Let me guess. Oh, more Screeches. Okay, so... I'm trying to really lower my defenses here. So I may want to do a switch out anyway, just to avoid the wing attack that's probably coming my way. Okay then, we'll drop Ripjaw. Ripjaw is probably not gonna like what happens here, because if it's an attack, it's probably gonna hurt. No, it's confused, Ray. Gosh darn it! I'll give this Crowback credit; it's being really annoying. <sighs> I mean, that's why I was expecting that, but I was gonna walk right into, you know, the wing attack. But no, they're like, let's dick around with some more, um, confusion. <sighs> Headbutt. And there's no way Ripjaw's gonna be slower than this Crobat with seven levels on it. Oh, good, it missed. Well, eat another Headbutt and get out of my way, Crobat. <sighs> Jeez. Well, whoever goes next, you know, it should be much easier to deal with. Arados, huh? Well, then. I guess we'll let Kiss and Kate Barlow do it. I keep forgetting, a lot of her Pokemon are also bug types, so Earthquake gets nerfed when fighting them. Gosh darn it. Though Kiss and Kate Barlow is overkill for this fight, I suppose. I mean, 49, level 49 against the level 33. And with a technique to exploit its weak spot? I mean, unless you're running an unowned in this position, that's just overkill. Well, at least we reached level 50, I guess. Okay. Venomoth, huh? You know what? I'll let Fabuki deal with this one. At least that's a bit more even in terms of levels. <sighs> I wish she was running some more Weezings. Then Miss Piggy could come into her own. Can't believe I forgot how much this team is comprised of bug types. 
Well, first things first. Confuse, right? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to outspeed this thing or not, but I can at least um, confuse it first turn. Oh yeah, this thing packs psychic. Honestly, I'm more afraid of being hit with um toxic than I am psychic. Because Venomoth's not very good at using psychic anyway, even with dire hit and play. Though that confuse rate did absolutely nothing for me. I guess we're better off just hitting it right out of the gate. Well, close to death. Not gonna heal it, huh? Well, even if it crits, that's not gonna be enough to knock me out. Can we please finally drop a Pokemon, you know, that's pure poison type, or has a secondary typing that doesn't nerf my earthquakes? Please? Ugh. Man. Though you do have to worry about this thing self-destructing. That's the one thing about wheezing. You never know when it's gonna blow itself up. Suppose we'll find out. Yep, one little hit point left. Nope, going with toxic out of the gate. Okay. Well, I can um deal with it then. Headbutt. That ought to drop wheezing like a sack of bricks at this point. Okay. And that leaves, what, another Weezing? Because I thought she had two of them. Yep, second one. I wonder if this one's going to explode. Make sure I take her out of the battle, but she might at least get one victory in, you know? Sometimes that's enough for somebody. Like, at least I took down one of your Pokémon. Like some sort of moral victory or going on a high note, you know? Never mind, got dropped in one hit. Uh, I don't know if tough's the right word. I mean, we have massive tactical advantage with the Pokemon we had. We could exploit all your Pokemon's weak spots and not have to even have to worry about resistances. Yeah, pretty much any Pokemon I can learn TMs can learn Toxic. Problem is, I have very few Pokemon I'd really think, you know, if you know who needs Toxic, that guy. Like, I suppose I could give it to... Miss Piggy, you know, as a joke. Be like, here, Miss Piggy, you can throw Toxic at the opponent. Then again, we're probably not using Miss Piggy against, um, Red, knowing my luck. We'll see. After all, I do have, um, play to resist electric attacks if we go with Miss Piggy, and that puts Pikachu in a real bind. Till next time, then. See ya.